let's talk about the aggregate function. Let's take a look here. You can see that we have the sum data, and we just want to calculate the average success rate. You will notice here that we have some errors in there. So, if we do something like the average here, you will notice that it will not work very well. This happens simply because we have errors in our initial data. But if we use the aggregated function, equal to aggregated, we can bypass this. Here, the first part is the function. What do we want to do? We want the average. We can put a here, comma, and in second place, we have some different options about what to do with the data. For example, in our case, we want to ignore any error values. This is number six here. Press the tab, comma, and the matrix will be all our data. Therefore, it will be all this part of the success rate. We can close the parentheses and press enter. You can see that we managed to find the average. The same thing goes for this other part, the total success. So we want to count the sum of the successes here. We can do this by typing the aggregate function again, but this time, instead of the average, we want the sum. So this is number nine. And you must have noticed that we have 19 different functions within this aggregation. Let's choose number nine, comma, and then, as options again, ignore. And we want to select this entire array this time. Let's close the parentheses and press enter. We have 12 now, but the cool thing about the aggregate function is that it is dynamic. So if this number changes to, let's say, 1, and you can see that it is updated, like and follow for daily tips.